We've seen an abundance of packages and small changes to the 2024 Toyota Tundra, but there's still one that hasn't come out yet. Where is it? Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you're having a great day and welcome to the Tundra Dude 34 YouTube channel. Well, 2024 may go down as one of the biggest change years for the Toyota Tundra. And a lot of people don't even notice how much came to the Toyota Tundra in 2024. There was quite a few. And again, we're still waiting on one other package. And we'll go over that momentarily. First, let's get caught up. Here are all the changes that happened for the 2024 model year. First off, there were upgrades to the TRD package on Limited, keeping all of the great things we love the TRD package for, but making it body color and blackout on the outside. So it really had a nice look to it, again, with things like the locking rear differential, multi-train select and crawl control. So you get the functionality and that great look on the TRD Limited. I give a big high five to Toyota on that small change. Number two, the heads up display, which was always part of a package in the higher trim Tundras, became a standalone option. So you don't have to get an expensive package just to get that heads up display for 2024. And most of the high trim Tundras we see when we go look on the lots have that as a singled out option. So that's a good thing. Another one is there is now a black headliner on the TRD Pro, something we've asked for for a long time. There's already a black headliner on 1794 Platinum and Capstone, but at that kind of price point for something like a TRD Pro, got to have that black headliner. So that came for 2024. Also, there was a added TRD upper control arm, a red TRD upper control arm on the TRD Pro. So you get that as well. That was new for 2024. On to some of the bigger stuff, Nightshade reappeared after only being on the Toyota Tundra for 2021. For 2024, $450 exterior appearance add-on package, Nightshade returned, and a lot of people out there absolutely love it. A lot of people aim for that. It's your regular Limited that you could still build up how you want and add your Limited Power Package, Limited Premium Package, Panel Roof, but one thing it did, it took off all that machine silver and chrome and body color and blacked everything out. And it was only $450 for a package. Now, in today's Tundra pricing, that's a great price just to get that look you want on the outside. Blacked out the wheels and took care of all of the chrome, the window molding, uh, the grill surround, everything. Body color and blacked it out. So Nightshade was a very big deal. Another big deal that people are still out there trying to find, they're still very tough to find depending on where you are in the country. For 2024, after all these years of asking, the TRD off-road package is available on Platinum. We've traveled around to find them the best we could. I think for 2024, I've seen about four or five. At one point, we drove down to Virginia in January to see a TRD off-road Platinum in Lunar Rock iForce Max, which at the time, there was like five on the ground in the country. So we drove all those hours just to make sure we saw it. And we were blessed because we were able to see our second one a few weeks ago at Liberty Toyota. And that's only 30 minutes away from me. So that TRD off-road package on Platinum, again, people have been asking since the second gen for that, is now here and it's here to stay. Everybody still looks at that Tundra as one of the hardest to get, the rarest to find, and the highest demand for 2024. And last but not least for 2024, we saw the advent of the 1794 Limited Edition. And it is just starting to get to the lots as we speak. Don't forget, this thing, there's only 1,500 made of them. It has that saddleback leather company interior. It has that dark chrome exterior, the TRD Pro suspension. It's a beautiful truck, very hard to get. So that's a lot of changes for 2024 that many people didn't know about because one thing I've noticed with doing all of these years with Tundra, when they come out with stuff, they don't necessarily announce everything. They focused on nightshade. They focused on, hey, finally, the Platinum is going to have TRD off-road. And of course, the 1794 limited edition. But they don't tell you about those small little things we were talking about, like limited gets body color and blacked out when you go TRD off-road package. Or upper control arm, a TRD upper control arm for pro, black headliner. They don't mention that kind of stuff. So there has been a lot for 2024, more than we see for most years. Uh, you know, you have those little fill years here and there where you get like, ah, small little changes, stuff. But that's a lot for 2024. Here's the thing, though. We didn't mention one thing that was supposed to come in 2024 that was announced, I believe it was Halloween or the day before Halloween last year, and it was supposed to arrive in the beginning of 2024. And of course, I'm talking about the TRD Performance Package. Now, I'm going to explain what that is in case you don't know. 
It's not something you could add to your existing Tundra yet, but Tundras were going to come from the factory with this TRD performance package, and this is what it was going to come with. In factory trim, the base iForce engine produces 389 peak horsepower at 5,200 RPM and 479 pound-feet of torque at 2,400 RPM. The TRD performance package increases power output to 421 horsepower at 5,200 RPM, while peak torque comes on 400 RPM sooner, delivering 479 pound-feet of torque at 2,000 RPM, broadening the torque band and significantly improving power delivery at throttle tip-in. On the iForce Max, the kit boosts horsepower from 437 to 469. Building on the strength of the Tundra's iForce engine design, the engineers increased airflow going into the turbochargers while optimizing the engine management calibration via software. The TRD performance package employs larger, higher flowing dual intakes coupled with a higher flowing catback exhaust that reduces back pressure. So not only were you going to get a different tune on the Tundra, you're gonna get a new cold air intake, you're gonna get a new catback exhaust with this, and once again, this was coming on Tundras from the factory, and it was supposed to start in early 2024. It wasn't a kit you can add yourself, but at the end of that write-up that I was just reading to you, it did say down the road they're looking to make it something that you could go into, say, the parts and service department and get it taken care of there. Now, this also, this kit is going to require uh, 91 octane fuel. What I was going to say when it came to all of these options with 2024, when I read about this TRD performance package, that was after all this other stuff came out. In my mind, I was saying, I wonder why Toyota is in such a rush to get all of this stuff out onto the Tundra. For this performance package, I would have at least waited till 2025, kind of spread it out a little bit. Now, this is something that I think a lot of people will like, but once they announced that this truck was coming in early 2024, I haven't heard anything about it not from dealer friends, not from online, nothing. It just, they stopped talking about it. So in my thought process, in my opinion, I'm thinking maybe they will be now at this point waiting till 2025. Don't forget, Tundra sales are in a really good spot right now. 2024 is on pace to be in that top four. They're having their best months since 2008, which was the second best sales year for Tundra of all time. So everything is where it needs to be right now. They just came out with all these other great packages. In my personal opinion, two things they need to do. For this TRD performance package, Tundra, wait until 2025. And then in like 2026 or 2027, make it available that you could go to the dealership part and service department and get it put onto your existing Tundra. That way, with the new Tundra, you give it, you know, oh, look, for 2025, this is what we're coming out with. If you want that package, it comes on these Tundras. Uh, and then down the road, maybe a year later, make it so everybody can get it on their Tundra that already are owners. They did kind of the same thing with the three inch TRD lift. Um, at first, it was kind of backwards. At first, you had to go and buy it at a parts department and a service department would put it on for you. And then after the fact, they're like, oh, we're going to start offering it from the factory. And we started to see that for 2024. So that's another thing you could add for 2024. The TRD three inch lift became a factory installed option. So you see what I mean? There was a lot in this year. So if they are actually waiting for the TRD performance package to be 2025, I'm totally on board with that because of all the other stuff we're seeing. But I want you guys to let me know what you think. Are you even interested in a Tundra that is loaded up with the TRD performance package? You're going to get that tune. You're going to get the cold air intake setup, uh, which is a dual setup. And you're going to get that cat back exhaust. There's some badging that goes on the truck. Uh, but it's a nice little add-on. It just depends on what it does to the price, of course. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you excited for that TRD performance package? Should they wait until 2025 at this point? Because we're pretty late into the game now. Uh, we're heading into May. So we're going to start seeing 2025s anyway. Uh, but let me know. Is this something you're interested in? Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, TikTok, at 1234. 1234 gmail.com. You guys have a great day. Be safe and be well.